Well, what's going on, everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with the, my first ever podcast, actually. Uh, I I don't know what to call it. Um, I've, I've talked with a few friends. They've, they've given me a few suggestions. Stop typing! They've given me a few suggestions, and for right now, I'm, I'm just calling it Dragon Talk, whatever. But anyway, today with me on the inaugural episode, we have none other than the patriotic American Eagle figure Blue Beetle. Hi. In case you guys don't know, that's because he has this really patriotic bird action figure eagle thing as his Skype picture, which I find hilarious. It's supposed to be hilarious, man. How do you find that picture, anyway? I have too much time on my hands, man. Too much time. You want to know something interesting? What? The design team that made that figure also did the DC Universe Classics, the Four Horsemen. Hmm. That's something new I didn't know. Hmm. I I even know, dude. I just typed in most American figure, and that popped up. Yeah, they. It's like one of their their personal line that they that they do. Hmm. It's like their own personal contract that they just make. These really awesome figures, and if you guys haven't seen these figures, go ahead and look them up. They're actually quite amazing. They have a me, they have a bunch the, of accessories and stuff. Yeah, I can tell. Usually, those people who well, from the look of the picture, it's freaking. It has a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, a lot of details. I might actually put some pictures of the figures as we're talking about it. But yeah, going on figures, dude. Action figures. We all love them. I mean, I'm I'm an avid collector. Charlie's an avid collector. My brother's getting into collecting, although he collects Legos. Queen of Dragons has her ponies. And you... I think you're, like, lost right now, because Transformers... It's all over the place. It's all over the place. I mean, I... You know I would collect the Transformers for a little while. Right? Yeah, but for me, I kind of had to, st- I had to stop, because I moved places and the place I'm currently residing somewhere in Texas yes we'll just say somewhere in Texas somewhere in Texas I do not have the room to display them like I did before so right now they've been sitting in the crate for the past two years so yeah but yeah going on what I was saying I used to collect Transformers and at the time I was collecting like the what was it? Revenge of the Fallen. That's when we had yeah. Sword Sword Optimus. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right around the time I started collecting. That myself. was Sword Optimus, right? Yeah. When he had the two swords. Yeah, cause that that motherfucker was really hard to transform. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, you got bored and you tried putting him back in truck form, and somehow you managed to do it without the instructions. Exactly, and it, that's like motherfucker. How does this thing even work? Well. I don't know, man. Like, the easiest one I could think of was Megatron. Megatron was easy. No, you know what? Speaking of Megatron, no, I didn't start with Revenge of the Fallen. I started with the original Transformers. I had the first movie Megatron. I remember that. Oh, yeah, that's true. You had him. My nephew like... got Optimus, and I got Megatron just so that we would have both of them and they could fight each other. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I remember that figure. I don't know what happened to it, but I sold them. Oh. I sold I sold all my later classes for like seventy, eighty bucks. Oh, oh shit! Well, I got well. I'm not gonna sell my Starscream. I think I sold Starscream for like close to a hundred. <clears throat> well, Starscream was a, one of the few later classes that looked pretty good. He did, and it looked better than his like deluxe and Voyager classes. It. For me, I still don't like the whole pizza slice design. Kind of kills it for me. Yeah. But you know what? The the Raptor looked cool. His alt mode... No. Is it robot mode and alt mode, right? I think so. See, I haven't been collecting Transformers. I don't know this shit. Where's, where's Charlie when we need, <clears throat> need him? But yeah, his <clears throat> jet mode. That was a really detailed plane, and I really did enjoy seeing it. Yeah. I kind of... I kind of miss it, but I kind of don't, so, yeah. It's, uh, man. I don't know, I I still have it in my crate, but I put it back into plain form. 
So I haven't taken it out since. Yeah, the alt modes are really good if you want to like space save or something. Yeah, but for right now, I'm waiting till I get a bigger place to get a proper shelf to display them. Yeah. So how's the how's the move coming down here? Like, have you talked to you, anybody about that, or is it still up in the air? It's still up in the air at the moment, but from the looks of it, it's, it's still undecided. I will probably know by the end of the year, which is like in two months, I believe. Yeah, I see. I see. Well, be sure we do that at, with Smash because that is coming out. I don't want to yeah. like derail our figured topics, but yeah, like I was saying, Nicky V got into collecting, he's doing Legos now, Star Wars Legos, actually. Ooh. And he's got the entire Rebel fleet. Wow. Uh, is it like, wait. He has... When did he, when did he start? He started with the X-Wing. I'm not sure if you remember the X-Wing. I remember the X-Wing and the tank. That was it. The small ones, right? Yeah. Well, he, he's he got bigger. They got bigger. Damn. Like, he has the X-Wing, the Y-Wing, the A-Wing, the B-Wing, the Falcon. He has a, Ren, he has a Rencor pit, too. Mm. I kind of like the Rencor pit because of the Gamorrean Guard. Just having the Rencor ready to eat him, the Gamorrean Guard has the look on his face like, where did I go wrong in life? Uh, I am in the pit. I should have rethought my life's choices. But overall, I kind of been looking to Legos, but then I'm reminded I have no space. Like or currently, where I res where I'm where I have my room, I only have my bed and my computer and desk. That's it. That's how small it is. That's with me altering it, the room like three different times. So I take it you got a pretty small room. Right? Uh, yeah, my, bro my brother got the master bedroom with the bathroom. Asshole. Even though he uses my bathroom. Well, didn't you move in with him? Yes, but the he has his own... That explains it! You moved in with him! Yes, but it doesn't give him... Okay, I, yeah. I understand the whole bedroom situation, but why the hell does he have to use my bathroom, man? He doesn't want to clean his. Fuck! Simple as that. Uh, it's not fair sometimes. But anyway, dude, uh, going on collecting, uh, the holidays are coming up, and as you know, it's really tough for action figure collectors right now, especially at retail. People it's... are going to the stores earlier, looking for gifts. And then, like, Kmart, Toys R Us, Walmart, they're all having free layaway now. Hmm. Well, honestly, usually around this time of the year, between November to January, it's hard to collect period, because either you're going to run into a bunch of people trying to get a deal, or you're going to get a bunch of defective figures, which is later in j January, you know, when people are returning stuff. Or a bunch of returns, like swapped figures. Bingo. But yeah, so. the other day I put, like, I went to Kmart, the one by the Target, where I, here, and I was just looking through, and I saw... Like, the entire wave of Captain America figures. Shit. Like, they had everyone. They had the Marvel Now Captain America, Baron Von Zoom, Red Skull, <laughs> Black Widow, Movie <laughs> Cap, and Winter Soldier. Mm. And they had two Black Widows. The collector in me saw an opportunity, and I put most of those figures on layaway. Okay, you know what? No, I, that's a lie. I put all the Captain America figures on layaway. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it didn't stop there because I got both Black Widows that were on the shelves. Were they at least in good condition or were they... They were fresh out of the case. Oh, nice. And then, as I'm putting them on layaway, this lady is right behind me asking... You... Wait, no, this is, this is a funny story because I walk up to the... Layaway register, which unfortunately was at electronics. Okay. I asked to put him on layaway, seeing that they have a no down, no fee layaway, and they say yes, so I say, I'm going to put these on layaway. And I have like a 
my hands full of Captain America figures. <laughs> like, I don't even have a card. I have like eight figures in hand. And I put them all on the shelf. Or on the, <laughs> on the counter. And, the guy... and this lady right behind me is all, Oh, Captain America figures. Do you guys got any more? And the cash register said, and the cashier said something so hilarious. What? You know what he said? What? We do, but this guy's buying them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And what's I... funny is that I only bought five. Was it five? It was the Marvel Now Captain America, the <laughs> Winter Soldier Captain America, Winter Soldier. Yeah, I only bought five. But like the cashier joked that I had bought the 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 shelves out. Yeah, see, it's hilarious. I I would give anything to see the lady's reaction. Like, have you ever had a somebody like question one of your purchases? Like, you just go into the store, buy a toy, and someone gives you like that odd look, like, "Why are you buying toys? That's not act your own age." Actually, I had several people look at me when I was buying a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Remember how much I I invested into the whole booster packs? And booster packs are booster packs are the, come from the devil. Honestly, they they come from the devil. Dude, I bought like so many. That's ridiculous. Dude, how right much now? money have, has the group spent on booster packs? I have no idea. I know for a fact I spent over, I would say three hundred dollars. <laughs> no, it's easily in the thousands. Yeah. If we include. The singles, the tins, the decks, the packs, Rogus. the sneak previews, it's in the thousands. We have spent thousands on Yu-Gi-Oh! And it for what? We're on break right now. Yeah, it doesn't compare to Wilgus though. Like, God has mercy on his soul. Right now it's like Justice, or not Justice, Charlie. Everyone knows his name. It's, yeah. it's Charlie. But it's like... He spent the most money investing in packs for a while, and then it's like we all wised up. It's like we're spending an awful, and we just an awful amount on packs for what? We're not getting anything. We're getting rare trap after rare trap after rare trap. Hmm. Actually, after a while, I wised up. And I said, "Nope, I'm not doing this." Just buy singles. That's what we all started doing. Actually, I started buying the tins. Oh god. You know they have mega tins now, right? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they have mega tins. Dude, the last tin I ever bought was I believe that weird uh Illuminite, I believe. That was it. That was like almost two or three years ago. I stopped. And every time I pass through Target, I I kid you not, the whole shelf is full of Yu Gi Oh cards, like from all the way from uh Ancient Fairy Dragon till now. But I'm like holy yeah, like I said, they have mega tins now. They're like larger tins with more cards. Yeah. They're I'm about gonna, thirty dollars though. I'm not gonna buy one. Like after what I seen and heard. No thank you. Yeah, right now the format's pretty bad. I mean they have shadows running around like crazy. What the hell is a shadow? It's like the most annoying when they get destroyed, they get their effects like they search or summon another shadow from the graveyard. And see, That's... it's when they get destroyed by card effect, which isn't that bad. But they unban Regeki. Oh my god. Did you see the post Nikki reput? Mm, On the no. group? Uh, the ban well... list? Oh, the ban list? Yeah. yeah. How Regeki came off the list. I have no idea, dude. There was a uh, glow up ball came off, which is cool. Then in fuck what glow up ball, Regeki it came off the list. Actually, the one that surprised me the most was the, the magician of faith. That surprised me right off the bat. I was like, what the hell? <sighs> oh, I just remember the shit that I had to deal with that crap. It was so annoying. Well, Magician of Faith wasn't isn't doing anything for the no, game anymore. You, no, but no, back no, in no. the day, yeah, it was it was bad. It was bad. New players don't understand why some things got banned. Like gold. We didn't have the counter traps that we do now. We didn't have the negations. We didn't. We didn't have we, any of the luxuries that we have nowadays. 
When Black Lush's soldier hit the field, we lost. We couldn't negate his ass. Of course not. We would be like, damn, I just lost the game. Or damn, what the hell do I do now? You were lucky to destroy him with, like, bombless trap hole. And even yeah. then, they played Heavy Storm right before summoning him. Uh, not only that, the five god dragon, oh my god. That thing was a huge beat stick that few cards can actually go up against. You know what sucked when you dragons mirrored him? Oh. <laughs> Where you didn't have that future fusion to, like, fall back on and destroy. Oh, man. So much crap before the whole list. But yeah, Future Fusion got banned because of the Chaos Dragons, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, I have never really dealt with them. No, look, the way I saw it, the last game I played was against the freaking Agents. Those things were freaking annoying, dude. Afterwards, I said, you know what, I'm done with this. Then so, I hurt, then I hurt, it got worse. Yeah, it, it got worse, much worse. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so glad I abandoned ship before stuff got real. But afterwards, I'm like, nope, I'm not going to come back. <clears throat> then I keep hearing Shadow Dolls. Shadow Dolls. Shadows. Like, not Shadow, Shadow Dolls. Shadows. Shadows. Shit Dolls. Shit Dolls. Shit Dolls. I heard about them, and I didn't know what they did until right now, until you told me. I was like, oh, sounds annoying to deal with. Oh, thank you. Ugh. I wonder how Charlie deals with them. He has the money to keep to keep competitive, and that's basically what you have to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. You, you gotta pay and play. Mm. Nah, I kind of gave up on that. I was like, no. I think the most expensive card I bought was that glow bulb at thirty-five dollars. You didn't get it at thirty-five. Yeah, I you did. won it in a bid. Remember? Fuck, then what the fuck did I buy for $35? You didn't, you bought a lot. Oh yeah! It was the Infernity deck that you bought for 30 bucks. No. Yes, yeah. the, it was the 30 bucks that started the Infernities. You bought, oh, yeah. you bought I, most of the deck in a lot. That's true, when I got the Infernities it pissed off Charlie. Ha! I remember now. They actually won World Championship! Uh, I remember now. But yeah, remember I showed you an auction for Globe Bulb saying, look, there's not many wall watchers. The lister misspelled the name. And I took advantage and I sniped it. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was a good time in my life. Good time. Good time. But yeah, going on, any other times you were at the store buying like an action figure and somebody looked at you weird? Yeah, like I said, it came down with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I always got that weird look of, are you serious? I think the most serious look I got was when I bought like four tins. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, try being like in middle school with showing up with a hundred dollars and then buying a hundred dollars worth of packs. Oh man. Good. I've never done that before. I came close, but I've never done that. Not my brightest move, but it it happened. Did you regret it? Yes, because I did get shit. <laughs> ah, no one ever goes the right. I was like Kutra at the time. Don't even, dude. Kutra has like the worst luck. I... He literally, he's the epitome of bad luck. I can tell you right now, he's not that lucky. But yeah, the other day, because right now, I, like, I have a layaway addiction. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say it. I have a layaway addiction. Like I, I keep putting stuff on layaway. Mm. And my coworkers see me going to the store putting stuff on layaway, and they ask, "Why are you doing this?" And you know what my main response is? What? I'm Christmas shopping for my nieces and nephews. Oh my god! And a... and you know, you guys know me well enough to know that's complete bullshit. I don't buy gifts you know, this but... early. Hell no, dude. You usually buy them at the last minute. But yeah, I'm uh, like putting single case figures on layaway, rare figures. And that's one advantage I like about working at retail. My night job. <clears throat> I Sadly, I don't get to put the stock out, but I know when stuff comes in. 
Mm. Well, people say it's bad practice, but you know what? I I played fair. I told you about the story of the Road Warriors, right? Yeah, you told me about it the other day. And just so you guys don't know, I collect WWE figures. If you guys don't know that, you guys don't follow my page, which you should, which is King of Dragons 5000. Look it up on Facebook. Uh, I, I post videos, funny pictures, whatever's on my mind. Cats, more cats, and cats. But, like I said, I got some... You know, I collect WWE figures, and Elite 30 just started hitting shelves. <coughs> and that's the series with the Road Warriors in it. And I was at the cash register minding my own business when I saw this couple put some things on layaway. And two of the figures I saw them put on layaway were Brock Lesnar and Batista. The very first. The so, last Batista. So in my head I'm thinking, holy shit, we got the Elite 30 now. So I even asked them, did you guys see the war Road Warriors on the shelves? They said no. So already in my head I'm thinking, okay, maybe they already sold. They've probably been sitting on the pegs all day and... I worked the night shift, so I didn't get my chance to see them. As I'm putting up returns, I see the Road Warriors still on the four high, still there. They haven't been put on the shelves, they've been processed, but they're on the floor. So, I, I just basically go, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait like three hours till I'm on break. Because, you know, when I'm on break, I can buy anything I want. Pretty no much. questions asked. Pretty much, dude. So, like, an hour goes by, I don't see anybody leave with the Road Warriors, so I'm thinking, okay, I, I still have a shot at this. So, two hours go by, nothing. No, Nobody has come by with the Road Warriors. And you know what? I see everybody that goes into the toys. I, you see, I see them come out, too, because I work electronics. So, break time comes... And I'm all, alright, have yet to see anybody walk out with WWE figures. Chances are, they're still there. And you know what? They were still they there. They were still there. I bought them. You okay. regretted nothing. I regret nothing. The Road Warriors are my favorite tag team. I know your brother is also a fan of them. Yep, he has his own, he has his own set too. Nice. And it's funny because... Like, that following week on my day off, which was, I think, last week, actually. Was it last week that you picked them up? I'm not sure. I think it was last week or whatever. We go to the stores, and then we go to Kmart. <coughs> and then, with my retail knowledge, I see them that they're processing stuff and putting it on the floor. So he goes, looks for his Legos, and I'm looking through the boxes... And then he finds the Lego set he was looking for, which is the Droid Assault Tank. Hmm. And is it like the big one? Like no, it was like a $20 set. It has Django Fett in it. Oh, nice. And then we're, we're walking out, and then I, I say, no, we gotta go back. I saw a, a box that said Case of Eight. We gotta go back. I saw that ca a box that said Case of Eight something. If anything, it's gonna be the Legion of Doom case. Mm -hmm. And he's all, how do you know that? Because elite figures come in a case of eight. And you were right, weren't you? Well, what happened is that they were like buried under boxes. Oh god. So in my infinite knowledge, I tried wiggling it out, wiggling the case out. Want to take a guess how that ended? Uh, with a bunch of block, with a bunch of uh, the boxes block. start toppling over, and then I'm holding them, trying to keep them from falling in. And then I just look to my brother and I go, "I did something bad." Oh, like yeah. I'm just holding the boxes, and then I forgot how I managed to like move all the boxes to the other cart. Much regret, so much regret. Oh no, I regret nothing because it was an elite case of WWE figures, and I told Step. him. That's the case. And he's all, can we open it? I'm all, fuck yeah, we can open it. We're, it's on the floor already. <coughs> and he's all, you got something to open it? No, but I have my keys. So I just Good take my keys and cut the tape. 
and I see an employee starting to walk over, so I'm like, damn it. And you know, I'll just ask him to open it for me. So I, this guy Ooh. walks by, and I say, hey, can you help me open this a, a box over here? He's all, sure, which one? This one. And boom, Brock Lesnar and Batista were the top two figures. So I asked, turned to my brother and said, you want the Road Warriors? He's all, mm-hmm. yeah. So we just dig through the box, get the Road Warriors, and now we both have a set of elite Road Warriors. Uh, that was like the most satisfying feeling. Yeah, and, Getting what you want. And this is why the Road Warriors mean a lot to us. <laughs> On their first release, <clears throat> they were peg warming at Target. Okay. They were peg warming at Target. And for the longest time, they sat on the pegs. Me and my brother would look at Hawk and Animal and go, We'll get them next time. Next time. There's always next time. And eventually... And then eventually when we finally break down to get both of them, Animal's gone. Wow. Like, Animal was gone, and we're like, "Fuck! We should have got that when we had the chance." Mm, and I, I think, gone. and I think our friend Albert was was with us, and he's all, "Why don't you just pick up Hawk?" And then we're like, "Can't do that. We need both of them." <laughs> he did. He understand why? Yeah, he understood why. Okay, but here's the kicker: Hawk sat on the pegs even longer than Animal. We go to the west side, to Kmart. Mm-hmm. Animal is there. Animal's there and Hawk, Hawk is... Hawk is not there, but the box is damaged. Oh, shit. And stupidly, we said, the box is damaged, we want them mint. Oh, my God. And so when we finally go back to the west side and say, you know what? No, we'll ju- we'll just get animal. We're gonna open them anyway. Animal's gone. <laughs> so we go back to Target, going, okay, we'll pick Hawk up. We'll find animal somewhere else. And Hawk is gone. So the time that you actually agreed on getting them, that was the time they were gone. Yes, and at the time that before this new these two new Road Warriors came out the Legion of Doom were an $80 set together you could that's easily sell them for 80 bucks that's a lot if you think about it each one would sell for about 50 shit I mean if we were to sell them separately Jesus Christ you can make 100 bucks and buy a set and still have 20 bucks left over. Fuck. Well, that sucked. It sucks even more now that you think about it. Well, well, here's the thing. They got reissued. Oh. Now, their yeah. first release, they were not in their Legion of Doom attire, they were in their Road Warrior attire. Which, if you don't know what that is, that's their all black tights. It says Road Warriors going down the side in red. And they have black shoulder pads. Uh, I'm looking on eBay right now. You can only sell them for about 35 now. Uh, Together or separate? That's for one of them. They have lost $15 worth of value because of these new ones that came out. Mm. That's got to suck for the collectors now. But... I think the new ones are far superior figures. So it was better that we waited. In what sense, though? Well, they're wearing their classic Legion of Doom attire, which is the red shoulder pads and the black with the red accents. Hmm. Animal has a proper body. Because Animal was the bigger guy. Like He wasn't like all ripped and muscular. He was just a big honking guy. Have you seen the Road Warriors documentary? Yeah, I, I remember that guy. One of them was like really, really huge, dude. Animal was like huge. Hawk was like a Greek god. You can actually tell that guy put a lot of time and effort into getting into shape. They were bodybuilders! 
But yeah, the new Legion of Doom set I like because the bodies work better. And that's what so, I like. You're picky about certain things, aren't you? Uh, the minor discrepancies I'm okay with. Like, CM Punk's too tall, okay, you know what? He, he's not Big Show size or Rey Mysterio size. I, I can live with that. Yeah. But yeah, you're kind of like a connoisseur when it comes to traveling, aren't you? A bit. Don't lie. Bit. You've been to PAX. Yeah, but actually, I'm picky about the hotels we stay in. Because honestly, there's been separate times where the hotel either smells funny or it's too damn far. Like, this past year, I stayed at a, a hotel that was actually, um, I believe, a mile away from the convention center, and it sucked. Because we had to wake up early just to make the walk, and by the time we got there, we up the stairs, got in line, it was already 7 o'clock and there was already a line. And I kid you not, the first day I was there, it was raining. I was stuck out in the rain at 7 o'clock in the morning till, I believe, 11 o'clock in the morning. I almost got sick. You almost like, yeah. got sick, but you didn't. No, I almost got sick because... Do you meet the game grumps again? No, I wasn't able because there was like... I had too many things planned out for that day. Because originally my plan was to attend the semifinals of League of Legends and then afterwards go off and explore. But the game, grum game grumps had a separate panel. And it was unfortunately it was during the same time I was in line. So, yeah... What about the creatures? Do you miss them as well? I missed them by a freaking hour, dude. I, I kid you not. It wasn't. Wor it was worse last year. You missed them by what? Fifteen minutes? Yeah. Last year. This year, I managed to be where they were, but not exactly at the same time. Because I saw Nova's signature and uh, Kucha's and Dan's, <clears throat> but I wasn't able to meet them. I was like, crap. But I was able to meet Markiplier, which is pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, you he... got to meet, meet Carl. Carl! Yeah. Carl! Carl! <laughs> it was just insane. Like The was hover like, hand was real that day. <laughs> Dude, I was sick. Alright, cut me some slack. Say what you I... will, the hover hand was real. It's, yeah, it's on your Facebook page that you met Carl! <laughs> Carl! Oh, we gotta survive, Carl! We gotta survive! Uh, it's, yeah, I didn't even know that he played that game. I was like, really? And somehow... When he's not killing zombies, he's, he's playing League of Legends. How about that? Well, he's killing trolls, so... It works out in every way. But, yeah, I met him. I was like, holy shit. Holy shit, it's Co Carl! Yeah. I was like, well, this is worth the trip now. Anything else is just a benefit. Yeah, so, that's kind of interesting that you get to, like, and you're doing this out of pocket, right? Oh, yeah. out of It takes me months of freaking saving, dude. And this year, well, I had a few hiccups, but I still managed to go. You did it. <laughs> yeah. I think out of the whole group, you and Wilgus are, like, the most traveled veterans. Oh, yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't know where Wilkes has been at. So. Uh, last time I talked with him, I think he was in Midland. If I remember yeah. right. I don't even know. Like He said he's going to try moving down to Florida. Why? So he can avoid zombies. Move to the Caribbean <coughs> when the zombies come. Actually, he, actually he's starting. he wants to get into his voiceovering career. Which, best of wishes to... Our good friend Wilgus, who is somewhere yeah. in the world right now. Yeah, actually, it's kind of hard to get into that. We, we were talking to a few people. Well, a friend of mine is actually uh, trying to be an indie developer and be all this, well, learning all these skills and stuff. Is it Philip? No. It's a friend of mine. His name is Edgar. We, we were traveling around the indie floor and stuff, and we were seeing all these crazy new stuff like I kid you not it's ridiculous how what people can come up with anyways we went in and we were talking and they said well it takes months and usually years of planning to get everything right 
in more so when you have to go through whole bug testing and stuff. But we asked like one of them who was like a voice voice actor. He just told me that it's kind of hard to get into it because you got to get people to notice you. Yeah, and it's really hard to get noticed when you're just pretty much letting people hear your voice. Pretty much. And he he just told us that it's hard to get noticed, but it's worth it, you know? That you get to do all this crazy stuff. Like, one of, I believe one of them, uh, he, I think it was gra uh, the guy who voiced uh, the grandpa of uh, Ben 10, you know? Nice. Uh, he actually voiced a bunch of uh, video game characters. I was like, holy crap. Is it Nolan North? Oh, I think so. Is huh? it I'm Nolan a North? I don't know. But... I need to check that shit up, but just just keep talking right now. And then there was another guy. I forgot his name. He voiced the guy of Booker. I forgot his name. And he's famous too. Jesus Christ. I am so bad at this. I'm so bad at remembering names. But... He voiced the guy from Booker, the Booker from Bioshock Infinite, and he voiced another guy in, I think it was Lee, but then afterwards it was corrected. I was like, oh, all right. Then another voice actor that surprised me was the guy who voiced Krunk. He, yeah, uh, that guy with the really deep voice. Yeah, he actually voiced a, a champion in League. I was like, no fucking way. And when I, I'm, I couldn't put two and two together until... I looked it up, I was like, wow, this guy has a really good uh, resume, and it's ridiculous, like, like most of these people who actually do voice acting, they have to have had at least a small role somewhere, like, start somewhere. Okay, he didn't come out in Ben 10. I thought it was Nolan North. No, it was someone else, I yeah. forgot the guy's name, but... <clears throat> The way I see it, Wilgis, uh, I would actually tell Wilgis to try applying, like, I don't know, use the power of the internet. He's going to do it. It might not be right away, but I know for a fact he's going to succeed in it. Yeah, it takes time. Don't get me wrong. It takes time. But the way I see it now nowadays, the internet is like one hell of a powerful weapon. I mean, look at me. I'm I'm still training to be a wrestler. And look at me. I'm still trying to become a spec. I'm so close. Well, Anyways. Well, if we look at the grand scheme of things, you are nothing more than a speck in the universe. That's True. on a speck. No, I thought it was a blip. No, you are a speck within a speck within a speck within a speck of the universe. Hmm. In a little section that's a little bigger than a speck. <clears throat> if that makes sense. I... you lost me after speck. Which spec? Oh. See, the problem uh, isn't uh, the problem. The problem is you understanding the problem now, isn't it? Oh my god, please don't do this. <laughs> please do not do this. Okay, we're going off topic. Anyways, power of the internet, try it. Yeah, in case you haven't already got on the internet, please go on the internet. That's the only way you're able to hear my podcast anyway. <clears throat> and you, you can hear Blue Beetle clearing his throat. <clears> throat> Yeah. But yeah, going back on the traveling thing, I think you and Wilgus have the most experience, like going out on your your own. Yeah, I think so. I'll I'll admit that I spent a month on my own. Well, not really on my own. I mean, I had Lisa <laughs> with me. And I went over in, to North Carolina. And that was a really fun time over there. Dude, once you start traveling, you're like, wow. You can't believe this place, places like this exist. No way! Like, a lot of the people I met over there were really friendly. Like, that Southern hospitality that you hear about on TV, yeah, that's real. Hmm. Like, everyone there was nice. Like, just walking down to, like, McDonald's, <clears throat> somebody would say hello. Here, you try saying hello to someone, and what's the first thing they do to you? What did you say to me? What the, what the fuck's wrong with you? Or, piss off. I think we grew up in a weird city, you know? We did. I'm weird is not even the thing to describe. I mean, have you, you? No, you haven't seen it. The stupid artwork that they're putting on Airway. Nope. It's god awful. It's. 
I don't know it's, how anyone could pay for that shit. It's bad. Is it like, uh, how would you compare it? Uh, the best way I can compare it is to send you a picture of it. Oh, I'll look at that a bit a later down the road. Well, I'm actually gonna text text them to you right now. All right. But yeah, they're just so bad. I can't find one person who even thinks they're good. Uh, as long as they're getting paid, they don't they don't care. But yeah, it's just god awful. They don't even light up. What good is having something on the freeway that doesn't light up? They didn't even put spotlights. No. It's just the traffic lights and the street lamps. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying. And Who commissioned that shit? I don't know. Some artist wanted to show his work off and... He has some kind of... I don't know what that guy's uh, problem is. I mean, it just looks of, so bad. I'm even going to put a picture of what these things are, and if somebody can tell me what they are, please, please tell me what these are supposed to be. I, uh, I have no idea. I've heard, like, theories that they're supposed to be windmills. They don't look like windmills. They sp The top spins in the wind, though. Dude, it sounds, like, pretty awful. And, like, there's these smaller ones that... I don't know why they're there. Is it one of those... Is it one of those life's choices that you say, why? Yeah. Why would you do that? Why? I'd be checking your phone. It said that... The message is sent. Alright. Give it a couple... Give it a minute or two. I'll probably get it eventually. But yeah. Oh, there it is. I heard it. Yep. I heard your phone. That that was my text. Tell me what you think of him when you open the picture. Uh, Can you see them? What exactly are, are these supposed to be? I have no idea. Uh, like, I'm trying to go back and forth with the pictures and trying to assemble what the hell they are. They look the little ones look <laughs> like onions. I don't know, they look like tops. They look like a top and a deformed ball. But you see the towers. Yeah, the towers I kinda looks like What the a, fuck are those? You know the stuff that grows out of the potato when you leave it out in the sun? Yeah. It kinda looks like that. That's where I can make yeah, that's about. It. Sounds about right, dude. Who the, who the hell's approved? Who approved this? I, I don't know. This is coming from the same city that flooded back in two thousand six. And and fourteen. And instead of doing something about it, we build a new city hall and build a new stadium. Actually, their thought process was like this. Oh, it's not gonna happen again. It happened uh, once! Once is enough! And then afterwards it happened again. And now this time they lost. Uh, from what I heard, there was a couple people who uh, unfortunately aren't here with us today. It's because the city's not right for flooding. We aren't doing anything about it. We're a desert. Well, you guys are a desert. Over here, there's like drainage pipes, uh, reservoirs. Hell, we even have places where... We get the water actually uh, collects. Like, remember the big freeze? Oh, dude. Oh, don't even remind me about that date. Three weeks? I... Three weeks the whole city was frozen? That, actually, what have we I... done about that? Nothing. Because it's never going to happen again. It happened once, it's going to happen again. Jesus Christ. I mean, let's face it, during that time you had to borrow power, power from Las Cruces. Jesus Christ, man. It was just uh. bad. Like, El Paso sucks. Uh, I, El Paso I, sucks. I'm, I'm just gonna say that there's only one good thing that has ever come out of El Paso, and Eddie and may he rest in peace. And that's Eddie Guerrero. Oh, I actually I would have to agree with you there. 
ever since I left El Paso, things have been, I don't know. Over here, it's kind of meh. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do, but it's humid as hell, dude. It's humid and, and it's kind of dry. Yeah, but the cool thing about it, when there's wind, there's no dust. That, it's wind. That's a good thing. Yeah, because I've been to the park when it's just windy, and you just lay in the grass and just feel the wind. Jaime enjoys the wind. How about that, everybody? Give a hand for Blue Beetle. He likes wind. I also like the rain. The rain is like... Rain ridiculous. is awesome. It rained like 75% of the time I was in Charlotte. Dude, it rains over here every now and then. Like, when it rains, it rains. Like, I loved it. I loved it. I want to go back. I'm, I'm honestly going to go back, and that's fact. Dude, I really want to... Honestly, I like it here, but... I don't know. I got to find the cup. Find a way to make it out here because I don't want to go back to El Paso. I like the rain over here I, and the wind. I hear Seattle's pretty good. Yeah, it is, but the weather's unpredictable. Well, like what's one, unpredictable one, about it? Rains, it snows. There's there's like two days of sunlight, then it rains again. How is that unpredictable? That it rains when it wants to, and it rains when when rains need it. It doesn't rain when it rains. When it rains, it's not needed. I mean, when I was over there, I was talking to a local, and, well, she said, well, this, we've been going through a drought. This is actually the first time it's been raining. What's a drought to them? Like, oh, like three days without rain? Yeah, that's what I told them. It's like... You, they don't I know live... what a drought is. It rains, like, every day. Try going, like, live... three months, three to four months without rain. I lived in El Paso, and it honestly... That's a drought right there. Hands down, it's the worst drought. When people say, oh, we're going through a drought, I just laugh at them. It's like, ha, 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 you're a drought. Ha, ha. We went through almost eight years without rain, I think, I believe. Hell, when Lisa was living here, she even said that she complained it was, like, hot where she was. But then when she got here, yeah, it was just unbearable. And what sucks is that it was, like, the hottest summer in, like, the last 20 years. Dude, it was ridiculous. Like, the summers over there are hot, and the winters are just brutal. You know what I'm glad? What? That I was not in the city for, like, the ma the major course of the summer. Why? I was in Charlotte. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You, you were over there. <clears throat> I was over there enjoying my life, not frying like an egg. Uh, over here, I have, a, I have refrigerated air, so I don't give a shit. Ha 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 ha. Dude, you don't know you don't know what life is until you have refrigerated air. You don't know what life is until you see like one figure that for some reason is listed as four different prices on the pegs. I have no idea what that is, but I I actually saw that when I went to Toys R Us with my brother. Really? Yeah. Like the new Toys R Us exclusive Brock Lesnar? Yeah. I saw three different Three to four different pegs that gave three, four different prices. Damn, dude. So you know what I did? What? I took a picture of the lowest one. <laughs> and then said, you guys have another pegs for this much? I want it for this much. And did they, they comply honored with it? it? They honored it, because they even went to go look and they saw how they had like four different prices. And they're all, okay, okay, we'll, we'll get, you, you can have it for that price. They messed up. up. Yeah, they screwed up one. big time. Oh my god! Like I, I saw one peg for like sixteen ninety nine, one for eighteen ninety nine, one for twenty one ninety nine, which I'm not paying that price. Shit, dude. I wonder what the manager said. And I saw one for nineteen ninety nine. Of course, I'm going for the cheapest one. Dude, we're cheap. Like if anything, we go for the. cheapest I'm not cheap. Thing. I'm smart. No, no, no. I go for the cheapest thing. I'm like. Well, when it comes to figures, uh -huh, but then I was again, just about to, but, I was just about to use that cheap hooker joke that we like using on you. No, 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 hold on. Then I learned my lesson. I remember the Devastator incident. <laughs> we shall never speak of that ever again. Why, 
Want to close off by telling us the story of the Devastator? Like, you were collecting Transformers at the time. And this okay. goes back to, like, the first topic we talked about, collecting. Yeah. Uh, funny how oh. our conversation, like, streamlined in every direction, and we're back at collecting. So before we go, Jaime, tell us about the Devastator incident. That's your phone. Uh, Devastator incident. It happened... I hope someone picks that up. Give it, a, give it a time. Give it a little moment. Okay. Okay, okay, go. The, the phone's stopping. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Tell us the Devastator uh, incident. The Devastator incident happened when I was barely getting into collecting Transformers. And that was and what, Revenge I, of the I, and Fallen, I saw, right? Yes. Revenge and of I the saw Fallen. The, Revenge of the Fallen. Bear in mind. And there was this Devastator that was, like, really small. All right, let's, let's actually, like, tell the people what it is. It's a Legends class Devastator. That you can combine. That they, the, the Transformers actually had, were triple changes. They transformed into their robot, alt mode, and their combination. Yes. I saw this at Toys R Us for like $30. I was like, oh my god, that's expensive. And then afterwards I went on to eBay. I saw the same thing. What did Charlie tell you? He didn't tell me. This happened afterwards. No, but remember how, he, how we were laughing at you? Yeah, he told me about cheap knockoffs. Yeah, he told me about cheap knockoffs. I didn't believe him until I bought the Devastator for like 10 bucks. I was like, yeah, this is a 10 steal. bucks shipped, right? Yeah, 10 bucks shipped with everything. It got to my house. Now, can you tell us where this Devastator came from? From China. Because he did come from the United States. It came from China. Not only that, the packaging was in an iPhone box. That should have been a dead giveaway. I'm like, oh my god, I might have wasted just a bunch of money. I'll be like, eh, whatever. I pulled it out. And as soon as I pull out the first robot, it just falls apart. It falls apart. I was like, oh my god, what the hell did I just do? And I was so... I don't, at that moment, I was like either mad... I couldn't be mad or sad. So I just took it to uh, King of Dragons' place. I showed him, and somehow that Devastator became robo-retarded Devastator. Then we show it to Charlie, and Charlie was like, We were all oh. laughing at you, dude, because it's like... I told you so. We told you that the, that, that happens. And then what happened That's... when you wanted to get the real thing? <laughs> no, I kind of fell asleep on that. I saw like the Devastator lot for like 100 bucks with a bunch of other robots. I was like, I'm going to get this. I fell asleep, and I missed the auction. Afterwards, I was just like, you know what, I'm discouraged from this. So I just started doing the whole buy nows or having auctions that were going to close off in 10 minutes or 5 minutes. So we started sniping? Pretty much. Because I, honestly, after the Devastator incident, mm -mm, no more. No more China from, no more buying stuff from China for you, right, Blue Beetle? Pretty much. I just started looking up the reviews and how people rated them so yeah so board of advice people don't ever buy stuff from China don't buy cheap. Least, if you're gonna get from cheap. China make sure it's the legit thing there's a lot there's, of knockoffs in China the saying is you get what you pay for which is true in this case I went cheap and I got a cheap knockoff so caution Word of advice, don't have Blue Beetle's luck. Yes. Well, everybody, that's all the time we have for this episode of Talk with Dragons, or whatever. What did I call it? Dragon Talk. That's what I called it? Really? Yeah. Fuck it. My short-term memory sucks. You're but anyway, lucky. thank you, everybody, for listening to Talk with Dragons with King of Dragons 5000 and my guest, Blue Beetle, who for some reason is my go-to guy when I have no one to talk with. It's because I'm reliable and no life. But anyway, thanks, thank you again, Blue Beetle. Go ahead and check Blue Beetle out. He's on Twitch. He does streams, what is it, every week? Uh, like, yeah, every week, at least once or twice a week. Yeah, he, he does League of Legends. I'll put a, le a link in the description. Go watch it. It's pretty hilarious. He's funny. You'll enjoy it. If you're not a fan of League of Legends, check out his YouTube channel. Check out my YouTube channel. Go like my Facebook page. Go like the NLCS Facebook page, and thank you once again for liking 
Like this video. Like whatever you want. I'm, I'm not a dictator who's going to tell you what to not like and what to like. But anyway, thanks for watching, listening, whatever. And I'll see you later. Say, say goodbye to the good people, Blue Beetle. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Peace. You just had to get the last word in, that's why I didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Fuck you.